Final thoughts for Robomon by Gabe Barrett. Now remember, this was a paid preview for GameFound, and let's get to those final thoughts. Okay, friends, final thoughts on Robomon. And as you can see in the playthrough, this, there's, I gave you the very basics, and there's a lot here. Um, I want to show the table here. You've got this, I, it's, I think it's so funny that they actually use the box uh, as almost like a dexterity game. I love that. Um, just a different, you know, different thing that you rarely see in games. Uh, we have barely touched the surface here. Uh, there are tons of Robomon, tons of opponents, tons of adventure cards, and then these will be the journals. Um, you saw the very basics of how to explore the world. I love this system of, you know, just going here. It's very simple to find where you need to go in the adventure book, and I love the graphics. It's so immersive, and, you know, can I just, I got to do it one more time. I love that you're going to be playing with the 8-bit music. Um, it's just such a fun, family-friendly theme. Um, there's going to be a ton of content. Now, in the Game Found, which is uh, being funded right now, what I've shown you here is just uh, basically the tutorial on how to learn. And it's going to add rules as you go along. And I think that's a really neat way to teach a game. It's very video game structured where, hey, just go do something, and then they're going to tell you, hey, here's some more stuff you need to know. So... I believe it's called scaffolding in the educational world. I am married to Michelle, my uh, my wife, who is a teacher, uh, where they give you a little bit by little bit. They don't just throw a whole book at you, like the rule book, but you are going to gradually learn things as you go along. Um, I do want to mention, this is really neat too. Uh, the deluxe version of the game comes with this uh, journal. Uh, you're going to put your Robomon in this leather-bound journal. So as you collect Robomon, uh, they are going into uh, the little card sleeves here. I, again, such a neat little touch. And uh, as you can see there, Robomon Pandal. Um, I didn't even, you know, we didn't even see a, about this uh, alloy province map. This is just one bit of the world that you'll be exploring throughout the game. Again, it's so big, it's so immersive, and I mean, this is the type of game I'm going to love to solo. I'm a big solo gaming fan, and anything like this that really captures a theme and puts me in the world, I love, love, love. And it does have puzzles, like, you know, we saw here, uh, where was it? Right here. We're going to have to find out how to figure out um, what was it. It was like the, the shapes on the dog's collar or whatever it was. Like, how are we going to figure that out? I mean, I was sitting there like, what do the shapes correspond to? But again, if you have time, you're going to be able to figure that out. And, you know, as you explore here in the different worlds, I'm sure there'll be clues. Like any good video game, you get clues like, aha, bing, light bulb. That goes back to this one here. I'll be able to collect more things. And, you know, as you go along, you're going to level up. So... We're going to earn those patches for different um, adventure or missions. We're going to up, um, add or subtract, uh, get our agility, strength, all of our attributes. Those are going to be leveled up. Certificates, so that's what you're ultimately trying to get to. And then I love the hover bus thing. So, you know, that whole thing of like, oh, I'm all the way stuck on level one or I'm at level 10. I need to get all the way back to level one. Instead of going through all that, you just take the hover bus, you know, and then you're going to be there instantly. So I love that. Again, we have all these different things to explore. Got all the action dice, so much stuff. I mean, look at this uh, table. It is filled. And I was trying, I was really having trouble earlier trying to figure out how am I going to show everything all at once. But I think I was able to capture that. Again, I don't want to spoil anything for y'all. Um, you know, I, I just showed uh, just the basics here. There's so much to uh, enjoy about this. Okay, one final thing I want to talk about is the two-player game. So I soloed this uh, for the purposes of this run-through. But two players... You're basically doing the same thing, but you're adding another character sheet. So, for instance, me and Michelle, we would each have our own character sheet. She would, you know, have her own uh, sticker. Or, you know, you could even uh, draw your own. That, that's what's so cool about this. Very customizable. Uh, you would just have two characters. And, you know, again, depending on your character, your Rob Robomon, who's got the fastest initiative. They'll go first in turn order and so forth. But, you know, I played it solo, loved it, and um, it it's going to be just as just as easy to play uh, multiplayer or two players in this case. So that's just a quick thought on the two player uh, version. And I, I'm a, a big, big fan. So I want to thank you all again for watching. And um, until next time, have a good day. Take care and we'll see you later. Bye bye.